Hello, um, I just thought I'd make this quick video to talk through how I've got my battery monitor set up working with a shunt because it took me a little while to figure things out how it all work. Um, this is a Coolertron battery monitor um, which I got off Amazon so it's much cheaper than the Victron smart shunts and it comes with the display with everything you need and the app as well. Uh, excuse the fact that my batteries are so low, that's only because it's uh, just come on to charge properly for the first time so I've only realised how low they are just now. Um, but with this uh, setup um, you've got to have uh, your shunt installed en route to your negative bus bar. Now I actually had to buy a bus bar just for this because currently before then I was plugging everything in directly to here uh, which meant that I wasn't able to put the shunt in between my load, you know, my negative for my DC DC charger, uh, uh, solar and uh, fuse box which will go in there as well. Um, that wasn't possible um, to have it sort of in line as it were uh, without having a bus bar. If everything was just sat on here then it wouldn't have been able to see all of that. And I wouldn't be getting the useful information I'm getting now, like how many amps my solar generates, which I can cross-reference with my solar charge controller and it's actually very accurate. Um, so right now on my negative, I've just got the uh, shunt and then I've got my ground. Um, that's it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if that is the correct place to ground or if you should ground it from here. I've seen, well, I've asked online and people have said it doesn't make a difference. So once you've got that going out to your shunt, that wires in, that's all fine. Then you've got your cable here which is the brains and that plugs into on this model kind of plugs into this current sensor here um, you've got a few other things that you can plug in as well like a temperature sensor uh, which I've currently got sellotaped onto the battery and you can see I'm getting 17 degrees at the moment and I held it in my hand and it does go up as you'd expect um, and you've also got the display which plugs straight into the back of the display again this probably isn't going to be the final resting place for this so there's a bus outside let me shut this um, and then uh, finally you've got this bit now this bit was a little bit more confusing and I had to sort of semi figure it out because I didn't see it obviously anywhere they do provide you with a cable but I wouldn't use that cable because the cable they provide you with somewhere in a box now um I, I guess is used for something else or meant to be used for something else let me open this down the bus is gone get some more light um so this is where you need to put the positive from your battery terminal so here you can see what the battery uh it's just a one and a half mil squared uh cable going straight into the box which they provide you and without that obviously it doesn't work um, which was not too obvious and there's not that many videos about actually installing these Coolertron ones or Juntech I think they're called Juntech Coolertron I'm not sure um, so I thought I'd talk a little bit more about the actual installation process and not just a review obviously we're not I mean not obviously but the actual box itself is great it looks good the app works it's, it's accurate as I've cross-referenced with solar as I said um, so yeah very happy with that but the main part of this video was just talking about the actual installation and setup because, um, yeah, I didn't think the other videos on YouTube did a very good job explaining that. That's everything. Thank you.